Welcome back to the Harnack Store. This is the newest Hockey Mask Collection video. The last Hockey Mask Collection video was from December 2019. If you've been following the channel, which you should be, would you kindly subscribe? Then you would know that I have finally completed my Hockey Mask Collection. I now have each Jason Hockey Mask from every movie in the Friday the 13th series. Every one of those masks have been unboxed right here on the channel. I'll leave a link to the unboxing playlist down in the description. This video is going to be split into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to talk about each mask, which movie it is from, and who made it. But stick around to the end of the video because in the second part, I will showcase all the masks with some cool 80s style synth music. That being said, let's get into it. Mask number one is from Friday the 13th Part 3. This mask is made by Crash Creations and is called the P82V3 on the website. This is the original hockey mask that Jason gets from killing Shelly in the movie. I absolutely love this mask. I love all the smudges and everything all over it. A lot of people get this mask clean and pristine looking. I actually do have a clean version of this made by a different person other than Crash, but I really do like this mask. It looks awesome with all the smudges and everything. Really great detail on this mask. Love it. Mask number two is from Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter. This mask is also made by Crash Creations and is called the P82V4SS on the website. There are many versions of the Part 4 mask, but I chose to have this one because it has all the chevrons on it. As the movie plays out, the chevrons on Jason's mask seem to wear off, and I just wanted one that had all the chevrons on it. I believe this is known as the shower scene mask. Might be wrong on that, but that's what I believe the SS stands for. <laughs> this mask is also gorgeous. I love the axe cut from the end of part three with the blood on the mask. Some of it kind of running down across the eye hole. Looks really great. Love this mask. Mask number three is from Friday the 13th part five, A New Beginning. This mask is made by Crash Creations and is called the P85VR on the website. This is the infamous imposter Jason mask. Roy Burns, the imposter Jason, wears this. As you can tell, the blue chevrons really set this mask apart from all the others, as Jason always has red chevrons. He also has three chevrons, and this mask only has two big blue ones there on the cheeks. Other than that, this mask is pretty basic. It doesn't have an axe cut. It doesn't have blood on it. It doesn't really have that many smudges or anything. But nevertheless, the mask still looks awesome. And over the years, Friday the 13th part five kind of grew on me. When I was younger, I never really cared for it because it didn't have Jason in it. But honestly, I've really grown a big appreciation for it because even though it doesn't have Jason in it, it really has that Friday the 13th feel that some of the newer movies kind of lack. Also, even though it's an imposter Jason, he seems to still be pretty fucking badass, in my opinion, busting through doors and stuff. There is several scenes in the movie where there's a dream sequence of sorts and Jason is seen and some people actually collect that dream sequence Jason mask. But uh, I decided to just stick with the Roy Burns for my collection. Mask number four is from Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. This mask is made by Crash Creations and is called the P86V6 on the website. The style of this mask is much different than the previous masks. I always felt like this mask was almost like flattened out a little bit more because it's wider. But in the movie, it still looks great. And there's only one chevron on this mask at the forehead area. This is a version of the mask that's earlier in the movie. It doesn't have the bullet hole yet and also the boat propeller damage from the very end of the film. I just wanted a pristine part six mask for my collection without any of the damage or anything. 
Also, I believe that this is the first mask that has leather straps that are also not adjustable. The previous three masks are all elastic straps and they are also adjustable, but the elastic really helps form to your head. The leather straps on this mask, although accurate to the film, doesn't really give you much of a snug fit. But as these are just for display purpose, it doesn't really matter to me, but it's accurate to the film and it looks awesome. Mask number five is from Friday the 13th, part seven, The New Blood. This mask is made by Crash Creations and is called the P88V7 on his website. This mask also has leather straps that are not adjustable, but as I said before, very accurate to the film. We have the boat propeller damage from part six. We have the axe cut from part three. The detail on this mask is insane. I love it. The accuracy of all the marks on the mouth area and the nose is just insane to me. Crash really did a great job on this mask. Mask number six is from Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. This mask is made by Crash Creations and is called the P89V8 on his website. Again, in Part 8, Jason got a new mask. I believe this mask, to me, just looks a little bit similar to the Part 6 mask as far as it being wider on the head. Part 7 mask always looked to me to be a little smaller. This mask also has leather straps, but are adjustable. I do like the way that the straps attach to the mask. It looks a lot different than the previous masks that are just bolted on there or, or riveted on there. The red chevrons on this mask are actually a little bit different. The forehead one's pretty much the same, but the two lower ones look much different than all the other red chevrons previously in the series. So although this is a new mask that Jason receives after killing Jim at the very beginning of the film, the mask is actually has an axe cut in the top right hand corner which is very interesting because either whoever made this mask that jim ends up getting or maybe jim is a collector himself and we just didn't get the background in his story i don't know but somebody added the axe cut or i don't know what the uh, thought process was behind that but it's a brand new mask but it still has an axe cut it's interesting to me anyway moving on Mask number seven is from Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. This mask is made by Crash Creations and is called the P93V9ES on his website. I like all these little codes he has for each mask. I never really was a fan of the hockey mask in Jason Goes to Hell, but after I received it and had it in my hands and could look at it, I actually think this mask looks pretty awesome. I love the missing chunk from the right eye, or I guess the left eye if you're staring straight at it. I love that just missing piece over there. We also have the boat propeller damage from part six. We have the axe cut from part three, and we got the bullet hole from part six. We've got all the damage, a lot of stuff going on in this mask, a lot of detail. Crash really knocked this one out of the park. I love it. This mask also has leather straps, but they are not adjustable. But the details and the scratches and everything on this just look amazing, and I really, really love it. Mask number eight is from Jason X. This mask is made by Crash Creations and is called the JX01 on his website. Just like Jason Goes to Hell, I've never really been a fan of this mask either. But again, when I got it in my hands and I could see it with my own eyes, I actually really like it. This mask is a lot thicker than the other masks. It's really solid. Again, even though this is a newer mask for this movie, there's still an axe cut in the top right hand corner. The nose on this one is a little bit different. They changed the way the nose looked for some reason for the Jason X hockey mask. Even the mouth area looks a little bit different when you compare it to the other ones. But even though there's subtle changes to it, the mask still looks pretty badass. 
and I love it. Also, there's a little bit of boat propeller damage there on the right cheek, so interesting. I actually think it'd be kind of cool if they made another Friday the 13th movie that kind of bridged the gap between Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X, and maybe we kind of see how he ends up getting this mask. That's just my idea. Would be interesting to see. Mask number nine is also from Jason X, but this time we got the Uber Jason mask. This mask is made by Darb Designs and is called the Uber X on the website. What can I say about this mask? This mask is absolutely accurate to the Uber Jason mask that's in the film. If you're watching this, you are a Jason fan, so you know who Uber Jason is. I don't have to explain it to you. A lot of people make Uber Jason masks, but the reason why I went with Darb Designs is because they actually make a back piece that goes on there and it magnetizes so you can snap that thing on and pull it off real easily. It's not a pain to get on and off or anything like that. A lot of people don't have the back piece, so I always wondered, well, how do you wear this thing if it's just the front? How do you keep that thing on there? So that's why I went with Darb Designs. I love the little piece that goes on the back. So if I ever had any kind of like under mask to put on underneath of it, it would snap right on there and it would be awesome looking. Mask number 10 is from Freddy vs. Jason. This mask is made by Crash Creations and is not currently listed on his website. Crash was nice enough to make this mask for me. He mentioned that he wanted to offer it on his website, but I'm not sure why he hasn't yet. But anyway, I'm grateful that he made this for me and it looks great and is very accurate to the mask that Jason wears in the movie. Obviously, the, you know, beginning scenes before he fights Freddy. I couldn't have asked for anything better than this. This looks amazing. If you get a photograph of any of the promotion stills, the photo shoot pictures, if you will, of Jason from Freddy vs. Jason and you put this mask next to it, it is spot on exactly what Jason wears in the movie. I love it. This mask is beautiful. Mask number 11 is also from Freddy vs. Jason, but this is based on the very end scene of the movie after the epic battle between Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. This mask is made by Uz or Azaron and is called the Versus End Scene on the website. I know I stated previously with the Part 4 mask and even with the Part 5 mask that I kind of only wanted one version of that mask from that movie because, you know, what's the point of having three different versions of a mask from the same movie just with minor little changes? But with Freddy vs. Jason, it's a little bit different because at the end of the movie... When everything's said and done and Jason comes out of the water with Freddy's head, his mask is just completely destroyed. When I saw that people were buying this mask from Uz, and I, I don't know if I saw it on Instagram first or what, but I just said to myself, man, the detail on this is insane. And I just thought to myself, well, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to get it. So I have the Freddy vs. Jason mask from how he looks at the beginning of the movie. And then I have the Freddy vs. Jason mask of how he looks at the end of the movie. And I think it looks great, especially when you put them right next to one another. One's kind of lighter, one's dark because he's been set on fire and all the chaos and everything. And the detail on this mask is insane. You got the, you know, the claw marks from Freddy's glove. It's cracked to shit. There's pieces that look like that it's missing. It just looks great. I really love the the cracked area by the right eye. It just looks great. I absolutely love this mask. Mask number 12 is from Friday the 13th, the 2009 remake. This mask is made by Crash Creations and is called the RM09 on his website. Again, Crash knocked this out of the park. The Friday the 13th 2009 mask is shaped a little bit differently. They kind of redesigned it a little bit, but it still looks badass in my opinion. I love the way he weathered this thing. It matches beautifully. Like I said, if you were to go get a, you know, photo shoot picture of Derek Mears as Jason from Friday the 13th 
2009 and put this mask next to it, it will look spot on. No denying it. This mask is awesome. I love it. Masks 13 and 14 are bonuses that I just thought I would get for fun. The first one is based on the mask that is featured on the VHS poster of Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. This mask is made by Fiberglass Masks and is called the Cooper HM6 Replica Hockey Mask on the website. So growing up as a kid, I've seen this poster on the VHS cover with this Cooper mask on there. And I remember even as a kid, I said, why is this on here? And they never wear this mask in the movie, in any of the movies for that matter. I just never understood why this mask was on there. And when I really started getting into collecting all these masks, you know, and seeing that poster again, I actually ended up collecting all the VHS versions of the movie. I don't know. It just clicked in my head one day. I said, you know what? I should get one of these masks and just have it in my collection. Screw it. So I knew that fiberglass masks made one. So I went straight there and ordered it. This mask is great. The quality of it, you know, the thickness of it. It's, this thing is sturdy. I mean, you could probably throw this thing on the ground and it wouldn't break at all. So I'm very proud with how this thing looks and couldn't ask for anything more. I think fiberglass masks knocked it out of the park. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Jason Goes to Hell poster hockey mask. This mask is made by Beyond Disgusting Studios and is called the Jason Goes to Hell poster cover mask on their website. In a previous hockey mask collection video, I had this mask in there before I had the actual Jason Goes to Hell mask, and a lot of people were leaving me comments and saying, that's not the mask that Jason wears in the movie. I am fully aware that this is not the mask that Jason wears in Jason Goes to Hell. I never intended for that to be, hey, this is the mask that Jason wears in Jason Goes to Hell. Same as the part five poster mask. I just said, screw it. I'm going to get it. I searched around the internet for someone who made the best one. A lot of people make this mask, but I feel like Beyond Disgusting Studios really knocked it out of the park, so I went with them. My only complaint with this mask is it really does show dust very easily, so I'm constantly dusting it off so it's not glaringly obvious. The other masks I'm sure have dust on them, but you can't really tell as much, but this one, because it's chrome and it kind of has like this mirror look to it, it's very easy to see. So other than that, though, the mask looks great. It's designed exactly like the one on the poster, and I couldn't ask for anything more. It looks great, and I love it. So that is it. I officially have them all. This has been years in the making, and again, all the unboxings are here on the channel. A link to the playlist will be in the description below. Whenever Jason makes his return, whether it be a new movie or something else, as I'm hearing rumors now of a TV series, I will definitely be picking up a replica of the new hockey mask by whoever makes the best version of it. And you can rest assured that I'll be unboxing it right here on the channel. So be sure you're subscribed, not miss it. So the rest of this video will now be nothing but glorious mask footage and some awesome synth music. Happy Friday the 13th, and thanks for watching.